Andy Van Wyle, the gold demonstrator guy. <laughs> I mean, really, who paints their tractors a different color? Can you imagine a pink John Deere or a purple Alice Chalmers right from the factory? <laughs> I don't think so. I think the guy that came up with the gold tractor idea was very courageous, and I bet he took a lot of heat from his peers trying to sell his idea. Owning one of these rare, authentic gold demonstrator tractors from the 1970 promotion is owning a piece of IH history and sharing in that success they had all the way from their first grain reaper in 1834 to their becoming the third largest corporation in the world in the 1950s. Restoring one of these tractors is preserving history and we owe it to that history to do it accurately and truthfully. That's why we should never pirate a fake gold demonstrator and restore only authentic gold demonstrator tractors. Tractors that you know the history behind them and you can document all the way from their original state to their restored status. Photo albums such as this help us document that history from what they looked like in the beginning, who owned them, where they came from, and what they look like today. But that still doesn't answer the question, how rare are they? Well, research shows that there's approximately a thousand gold demonstrators manufactured for the promotion. But that was 50 years ago. Up until the last 15 to 20 years, they were really not all that popular. They were just another tractor. So many of them have already hit the salvage yards and some may never be found. We estimate that there's approximately 700 to 750 authentic gold demonstrators out there. Some are very rare and some not so much. For example, the 826 here. The 826, the 826s were all manufactured with a 358 German diesel engine but they were manufactured in the lower cost gear drive model and in the hydro model. Now the A26 was the low cost way for the independent IH dealer in the row crop market to get into the gold demonstrator program. So therefore, by far the most gold demonstrators are 826 gear drive. Nearly half of all gold demonstrators in all models are 826s. We estimate that there's approximately 300 gear drive 826 gold demos and another 50 hydro 826 authentic gold demonstrators. The 1026 was the hydro only large horsepower row crop tractor for IH. Now the 1026 had the 407 turbocharged engine was great for PTO work around the farm. The 1026 accounts for approximately 125 to 150 gold demonstrators. Now the 1456 was IH's largest and heaviest tractor in the gold demonstrator program. It also had the 407 turbocharged engine, but was available only in the gear drive model. The 1456 accounts for another 125 to 150 gold demonstrators. IH was very responsive to customer needs and would build tractors that the dealers would ask for specifically. For example, this 1456 with a Coleman front wheel assist installed right at the factory. Now to be a 1456 gold demonstrator and to be a front wheel assist makes it a very rare tractor. There are a few other examples of special order rare tractors I know of a 1026 high crop gold demonstrator in Florida, and I know of a couple of 826 Wheatlands or standard model gold demonstrators as well. Now these special order tractors will have the same drivetrain or engine and transmission as the rest of these gold demonstrators in our collection. The tractor market for some IH dealers was not the big powerful row crop tractors but the smaller horsepower, more nimble tractors like the 656 and 544 for the livestock producer or the tobacco farmer. 
IH made tractors for this market in the 656 and 544, and they were included in the Gold Demonstrator program. They fit a smaller, more specialized market, so fewer of these tractors were manufactured, and therefore less Gold Demonstrators makes them more rare. The 656 and 544 Gold Demos were all made in the hydro version, but they were, they were made in the gasoline engine and in the diesel engines and in three different versions as you can see here in the 656s. Now in the 656 there's approximately 60 total gold demonstrators. Of those 60, 50 of them are the formal models like you see on the end there. In the, in the 656 uh, row crop utility model there's only three that we know of, and all three of them were sold new in North Carolina. In the straight utility model, like this one, there's only six that we are aware of. Five of them have gas engines. This is the only diesel engine, regular 656 utility gold downstream that we are available, that we are we know of. Research shows that the 544 had the lowest number of gold demonstrators available, with only 18 gold demos that we know of. Of the 18, eight of them are the formal models, like we have here, we have a gas and a diesel version. Now in the utility version, like the one down in the end, there are seven that we know of. Most of them have the diesel engine. In the row crop utility version, like this one right here, there's only one that we know of that was ever produced, and it was originally sold in Maine. As you can see, IH excelled in meeting customer needs with innovation and flexibility, and by building bold, audacious sales promotions like the Gold Demonstrator program. Owning an authentic Gold Demonstrator is not only owning a piece of IH history, but owning a piece of that honest, hardworking, rural foundation that built America. Now, let's go see them in action. Hi, I'm Randy and Terry Van Wy, and we'd like to welcome you to our reenactment of the 1970 IH Field Demonstration Plowing Day. IH had grown its business by three main things. By innovation, where they held over 10,000 patents. By motivation, by having bold, audacious sales promotions, like the Gold Demonstrator Program. And by education, by having seminars and field demonstrations throughout the entire country just like we're have, trying to have today, reenact. Today we plan to reenact one of those field demonstrations by having all 12 of our gold demonstrators plowing in the same field at the same time. In 1970, a field demonstration would be have a red and white tent like this one, and it would be Grand Central. It, it would be full of company reps and, and uh, the latest literature. It, it would be, a, just the whole place would be a buzz. But the real story, the real stars of today, are, is out there. It's our tractors, the 12 gold demonstrators. You know, they may look like new, because they got kind of new clothes on, you might say. But they spent their lives working. They plowed and planted and raked and, and mowed hay and did all the work that the farmers would ask for. So we're, today, we're going to see if they still got them in them. So let's go see them in action.
You'll see in our tractor groups of gold demonstrators how IH was responsive to customer needs by the variations in the different models. The big horsepower six-cylinder 407 turbocharged engine was available in the 1456 front wheel assist, the 1456 gear drive, and in the 1026 hydro. These were the largest horsepower, heaviest built tractors available in the row crop market in 1970s. All three of these are authentic gold demonstrators. The 826s were the lower horsepower big tractor with the 358 German diesel non-turboed engine. It fit the lower cost market and has by far the most gold demos available. Both of these are proven gold demos. The 656 was available in three versions, the Farmall model, the row crop utility, and the straight utility. The 656 fit the lightweight tractor market, but with good horsepower and very dependable with its 282 diesel engine. These three versions fit three very different markets. All three of ours are proven gold demonstrators. The 544 was the smallest tractor to be included in the gold demonstrator program. They were available in the four cylinder 239 cubic inch German diesel engine or in the C200 cubic inch gas engine. The three versions are Farmall, Row Crop Utility, and Utility. This gave the 544 great flexibility. And all four of our 544s are true, authentic gold demonstrators. It was a fun day. We had lots of people, food. Um, the weather turned out to be great. A little bit chilly, but no rain. Good. The IH Gold Demonstrator Program was truly revolutionary in the farm equipment industry. Owning a gold demonstrator is not only owning a piece of IH history, but it's owning a piece of that rural, hardworking community foundation that built America. If you're fortunate enough to own a gold demonstrator, own it with pride. Own it with respect. Own a gold demonstrator and enjoy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>